Hey guys, Dr. Heavenly here. Hey, you know what? I've been going back and forth to see whether I should do a part three of this reunion. Really, honestly, I think we could have done that reunion in two parts, but we get paid per episode. So listen, more money, more problems. Listen, so um, I'm not mad at three episodes. Going in the reunion to me, it started out basically like it ended last, last time on part two. But I think the thing that we need to talk about that nobody wants to talk about, and I don't want to talk about it either, is um, one of the great things about Married to Medicine is we show real issues, um, real marriages, real friends. Um, some of us are friends and real things that we go through. And it was unfortunate to see um, Quad and Dr. Greg. I'm just gonna put it out there. It was it was awful. It was uh it was very telling. I think she went a year without exposing her husband. It was a year before we even knew about the infidelity. I try not to speak on different husbands, especially if they haven't said anything about me or to me. But to me, I mean, we have to quote Dr. Jackie. This man did not seem like he had any remorse about anything that he did. In fact, to me, and I've always felt like this, this man is arrogant. To me, he felt like he had a wife, he had a dime piece or whatever, a beautiful wife, and he made the money. And this is why I tell my daughter, don't ever be totally dependent on a man. And I think that's what uh, Quad was trying not to do. People say Quad used this man. She used him. I, I'm not going to say what Quad did or did not do, but I'll tell you what I would have done in that situation. Now, if I marry somebody because I really like them, um, I'm looking for someone to help me. As a wife, we want somebody to protect us, to make us feel safe and secure in every way, financially, feel safe and secure with um, somebody breaking in or anything. That's what a man does for me. He makes me feel safe and secure. If I met a man that was doing that and I liked him, and I think one of the things the reunion revealed is that Kwa did really love her husband. Now, for me, as far as like using them, hmm, I think they used each other. I, if I was her, I would have stayed in the marriage just like she did until I was financially well enough to get out on my own. And I think that's what she did. Now, the man cheating, it was revealed. They didn't show it. But this man has cheated more than once. It was very evident on his face that, in my opinion, that he was cheating with more than one woman. They actually, she said some names. I think, you know, for legal reasons, they couldn't say the names. But to me, the look on his face showed me arrogance. It didn't show any remorse. And it showed me that he probably did cheat. Now, the question is, did she care? The question is, did she care if he cheated? Because I think at that point, after a while of him not getting what he wanted, them not getting along or whatever, she checked out the marriage, right? But the problem with this whole situation, and y'all know how I am, I'm biblical. You know, I use profanity, but I'm biblical. I look at marriage as a union between a man and woman in front of God. Now, I have very, and they, they say me, I have very strict guidelines of what a man should be and what a woman should be. Now, everything could be a little bit different for each couple, but I'm telling you what works for me. Domestic violence does not work for me. Um, you put your hands on me, that'll be the last one you put your hands on. Um, her getting a knife and him slamming her to the ground. My problem was with the women on the show and the men, really everybody, myself included, did not stand up and really make a statement that is wrong. Domestic violence is wrong. There is never a stop for man or woman. A woman should not hit a man. He should not. He, she should not. She should not. But for a big old man, and I'm going to keep it on myself, if I hit my husband, right, big old black man, big old dude, if I hit him because I got mad and then he slammed me to the ground, how fair is that to me? Should I stay in a relationship? that a man is slamming to me to the ground, putting his mouth, his hand over my mouth so I can't breathe, taking stuff out the car so I can't leave, and driving real fast and saying he's gonna kill us both. Now the interesting thing about that whole dynamic is, Quiet couldn't have been too afraid of this dude. She couldn't have been because she stayed it long enough to get her stuff together and get the hell out. Um, most women would have left immediately. To me, I felt like Quad was very calm with it. She got all her ducks in a row. She filed for divorce, left it in the mailbox, did it in a real slick way. Now she was very calculated and she had it done. But there's a double standard. 
with men and women. And I don't care what y'all say, y'all millennials saying men, woman shouldn't hit a man and she shouldn't, she should not. But there's no, absolutely no circumstance that a man should hit a woman. The man should just leave the relationship. This is my opinion. Just leave the relationship. Don't hit the woman. In fact, you can protect yourself enough to get out of the situation, but don't slam no person on the ground. Don't hold your hand over. At that point, as a man, you have to leave the situation if you can't control yourself enough not to hit this woman. Now, this sad. Um, I felt like um, Quad and her husband did get some kind of closure. I definitely think it was a toxic relationship. So now we do understand why Quad uh, did not want to give him a baby. Um, we understand why um, she had been so, so uh defensive about her marriage and also not really even reveal a whole lot to us about her marriage. We see why. And I knew some of the stuff, but I did not know the extent until it came out on the show. And I want to clear something up. Never, ever, ever would I tell Quad to stay in a relationship that's violent. Now, when they cut it up and I said, fix it, that was before all that stuff was revealed. I don't know how it was cut up and how it was played or where my mind state was, but I would never tell a woman to stay in a marriage. My problem with the women on the show was to me, because it was Quad, they tried to dampen or dull the fact that he did hit her. He did slam her to the ground. He did cover her mouth. He did do all these different kind of things. And they tried to say, oh, we can't use the word abuse. If it ain't abuse, what do we call it? Now, having said that, and I, I think a man should never hit a woman some kind of way, and I ain't even trying to be funny. I wouldn't be mad at Eugene if he slapped the shit out of Toya because she disrespects him all the time when she, I don't know if they played it but he said she said that he has a period every month and it comes on a couple of days before her the blatant disrespect honestly if he slapped the shit out of Toya I promise you I would turn my head and I wouldn't even say nothing about it but I'm saying that ain't even a joke it's this the truth but a man should never put his hands on a woman I have have said enough about that as far as like infidelity that's wrong, wrong, wrong. And these doctors ought to know better based on what they've seen in residency. I know my husband is in the ER. They see these women come in with HIV, men HIV, everybody going with everybody. The, the, the infidelity is deadly as well, almost more deadly than physical violence. So at some point, a woman usually forgives a man for infidelity. But at the end of the day, you risking my life either way. You risking my life if we fight. You risking my life if you having sex with somebody unprotected. So my whole thing is a marriage. Let's hold it all together. And I'm trying to end this thing on a positive note. Um, who else had an issue? After that, it wasn't really nothing else to talk about. Contessa and uh, Toya had an issue. They always going to have an issue. They two opposite people. They have very different beliefs about a lot of things. I think Contessa, uh, she be getting with Toya a lot. I think people didn't expect her to say, you know, I almost spit up my food when she said they were living like refugees. That was, that was just a lot for me, but that ain't the most that Contessa has said. They just don't show it. As far as the group, I'm honestly disappointed at this group because it's so divided. And my whole thing is I never, and I'm being very honest with you, I never wanted us to just blatantly say, okay, I'm gonna take this person's side no matter if they're right or wrong, or I'm gonna take this person's side no matter if they're right or wrong. My whole thing is the group has survived so long because we would all tell the truth and we would all hold people accountable for the stuff they were doing, either behind closed doors or in front of everybody. The problem is the group, across from us looked like to me they co-signed everything even when it was dead wrong and y'all know it was dead wrong for quad to be in that situation it was dead wrong for y'all to to actually uh defend greg when he was wrong quad is wrong as well but y'all try to tell the part about the physical abuse that is never okay that's never acceptable and just because it's quad and i'm trying to figure out why they hate quad so much because at first they were mad because she didn't come around and she wasn't telling y'all her business and then now y'all saying because she told y'all her business and she was the only one strong enough in the group to actually go through with a divorce because a lot of people filed, but they could not go through it. And I'm telling you one thing, a lot of people can go through a lot of different things, but to go and actually file, it takes a lot of strength and it takes a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, it takes a lot of strength to file for a divorce and she did it. 
And then after that, not being sisterly or being there for her, what, what the people on the cross of the hall was across the stage were saying that she can't come on a couple's trip. Like that's going to ruin the couple's trip if she comes. Not that she's going through something horrible. Not that something she's been strong and not standing with her on something because of the envy or whatever it is they have against Quad. They're trying to push her out the group. And to me personally, I won't stand for it. I don't think it's fair. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm not the leader of this group. Don't want to be. I don't want to be the group leader of something messed up. Honestly, I don't hold Toya accountable for many things. I'm trying to put this a nice way. Toya just not to be held accountable. Simone, I was very disappointed in. To me, to me she picked a side. And to me, I think all of us. Uh, are very capable of knowing when we're right and wrong. And I think we're capable of just telling people when they're right or wrong and being held accountable for the stuff they did. Not just the stuff that was done to me or anybody else, because um, I'm not even going to go into that anymore. But I think we should have the same passion when it comes to certain people. Because if y'all look at Jackie and Curtis, and I'm going to just say this example, Jackie and Curtis, if Curtis had hit Jackie, if Curtis had slammed Jackie on the floor, I'm sure y'all would be looking at it a whole lot differently from when Quad does it. And yeah, Quad got more mouth, I got more mouth, but still we can't hold one person accountable and not other because a woman is a woman and a man should never touch a woman. Um, I don't even know about Contessa and Toya. I really don't even give, really give a damn about them um, and what they're going through. I think they'll be all right. If not, they'll be fine. I think there's certain people in the group that are never friend, that are not friends and probably will never be friends. Um, I can name them, but y'all know who they are. Um, having said that, it was difficult for me to do this blog because I didn't want to talk about like the domestic violence because I don't want to make Greg look bad. I don't want to make him look bad. Um, I think that both parts play a part in that, but I'm saying for me and my thoughts, and you know how I am, I have very strict guidelines for what a man and a woman should do. A man can get away with cheating. It's a double standard. Women will forgive. They might blow up the house, but they will forgive. But never, never, never can a man put his hands on a woman in a way that will slam her to the ground or cause her physical violence. That's just against everything I believe. Um, having said that, um, they got Married to Medicine LA coming up. We actually all got back together. It's kind of confusing because we all seem like we buddy-buddy when we all kind of fell out at the reunion and still have not really... Um, save these friendships. Hopefully we can get it back together. I will honestly say I ain't mad at nobody. I prayed about it and I let it go. I know, you know, people, certain people are not for me and you know, I just live with that. But, um, um, I forgive everybody and hopefully everybody can forgive everybody and we can actually go back to a good place. It's going to be difficult, but, um, Jackie, I know you can do it. Put it back together, girl. Until next time, till next season, it's been a great year on Married to Medicine. If you got any questions, make sure you hit me up down there in the comments. If you got comments, let me know. Um, make sure you continue to follow me at dr underscore heavenly. And make sure you like, subscribe, and follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Heavenly.